This is Off Ramp. I'm John Raby in East Los Angeles today with Charles Phoenix, the expert on Americana. Hey, Charles. How are you, John? I'm very good, and I'm excited because today you're going to give us a tour of one part of East Los Angeles. Where are we going today? We are going to see the treasures of Whittier Boulevard. Why Whittier Boulevard? Well, it's one of the quintessential boulevards of Los Angeles, and it has such a distinct personality, and it's palm tree lined. We're starting our journey down Whittier Boulevard here at Ruben Salazar Park. Ruben Salazar was the LA Times journalist who was killed by a tear gas canister many years ago. Many consider him a martyr. And the highlight, really, of this park is this beautiful, huge mural. Which accentuates the fact that there's art all over this neighborhood. I mean, everywhere you go, there's hand-painted things everywhere, and it's very colorful. And that's one of the reasons I'm attracted to the neighborhood, the, this, the color of this building. I mean, look, they've taken this old mid-century building, and they have colorized it beautifully with lime green and turquoise and royal blue and, like, macaroni and cheese yellow. Let's keep driving down Whittier Boulevard. We're at a bank, the Chase Bank near Atlantic in Whittier. This is not any ordinary Chase Bank, John. Oh no, this is a mid-century modern bank. And what makes it so incredible and so rare and unique against all other mid-century modern buildings in Los Angeles is that it is completely covered on the exterior with this amazing, like, at first I thought it was concrete block, but it's not, it's terracotta blocks. You've taken us to uh, a number of places along Whittier Boulevard, all of which I've liked. Uh this one's leaving me cold. I think it's ugly. I, I think that, you know, you have to kind of look past all the years of Ungapachki that have been applied to the exterior of the building. But if you look at the building itself, it is an incredibly rare and unique, totally one of a kind example of mid-century modern style in this city. Well, I guess our listeners will have to go and decide for themselves whether I'm right or you're right. And you're probably right because you're the expert. That's why you're taking us down Whittier Boulevard today on Off-Ramp.